Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I want to use this uh, golden opportunity to uh, thank you all of you for gracing this occasion with your honorable presence. Um, the gentlemen that have spoken, they have spoken so well, so loud. And because I know where they come from and what they stand for here in America, and that they stand with Nigeria at all times. I know, I can tell you one thing, that someone out there is listening, and listening fast. And based on what I have heard, there is nothing like letting the sleeping dog lie, because the sleeping dog has been lying. It is time to wake up the sleeping dog. Certain flagrant mistakes have been made in facts and in law, based on what I've heard from these legal luminaries. And based on that, having said that, having heard from them, I know that some people will eventually take their steps back and begin to do the right thing. Ladies and gentlemen, injustice to you, to me, injustice to Imo, injustice to Emeka Ihedioa, injustice to the Southeasterners, injustice to Nigerians at home and abroad. Injustice to all, anywhere is injustice to everybody all over the world. Injustice has no permanent address. It's floating. If it's not you today, it is someone tomorrow. So let's begin to nip injustice in the bud, starting with this case. That is why I join this respected gentleman here in thanking the conveners of this occasion, Nigerian American Council, for putting this workshop, cum symposium together, and giving the people on this podium the opportunity to do what they do best. So the time is right to bring to the podium the chairman of Nigerian American Leadership Coalition for Justice and Democracy. He is also a longtime activist and frontline Nadeko chieftain. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Professor Eddie Oparoji. <laughs> 